All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar into a very, very cool song here from Montel Fish. It's called Who Did You Touch? So nice song there, good question. I only touched my guitar, nothing else. So let's take a look at this song. No need for any capo on this one, all right, because we're gonna work a lot with bar chords here. So that is because we want the high notes also incorporated and it works very well to work with bar chords here in this song so that's the reason let's go into the chords we're gonna look at e minor first all right so that's a bar placed on the seventh fret from the bottom up you bar five strings and then you need to add ninth on d nine on g and eight on b that's the e minor then we have the D. What I do here, I place two bars, one on the fifth fret from the bottom up, five strings, and then a second bar on the seventh fret, and I make sure I bar the D, G, and B string. You can also bar the last E string, but we'll not use that one. So two bars like this, one on fifth and one on seventh. The next chord will be C, and you just take the same grip there from D, and move it two frets away from you to this position and you land now with the first bar on the third fret with the same strings there and the second bar on the fifth fret with the same string so exact the same grip from d to c and that is the, um, the power of bar chords to just move around the same grips pretty much so this is the c but we'll also look at the second version of c which we will use Later in the song, it goes like this, and I prefer to go with this C at that point, okay? So that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E, okay? Then we have two more chords to go. We have A minor, and that is open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. And then we have the final chord, that's the G. And actually for this song, we can look at the full chord, but we don't need it. We can actually just hold like this. Okay, so that is third fret on the E string in the bass. Everything else is open down there, all right? So there you have all the chords needed for the song. And we have this certain rhythm going on. It goes like this. So um, yeah, we're gonna work with pickings here. So you're gonna pick strings. So you're gonna work with bass, and then you're gonna answer with the strings below there. So we're gonna look at E minor first. I can just mention it will be in the same chord progression through the entire song. So start with E minor, hold the full chord, and you're gonna play this part. Okay, so the bass now will be the fifth string or sorry, the A string, all right? So I count from bottom up and therefore I say the fifth. This is A, all right? So you play that one, and then you answer three times with the strings D, G, and B. Like this, all right? The important note here or string will be the B string. All right, I have also the G and D as the supportive um, supported strings to this B. So if you think that is too much, then focus on the B and do as many strings as you can, the G, and if you can, even the D, that is the best scenario for us to give this um, depth to the, to the music when you, when you play it, all right? So you're gonna play one down on bass, and then three times on the answering. And then you move to the D, and you follow the same principle and same strings, one down on bass, and then just one on the top strings. And then you move to C and play in the same way as D, bass one time, and the top strings one time. That part, E minor, D, and C, you're gonna play for three rounds. So slowly, one round goes like this. 
three rounds for you and after these three rounds you're gonna play the A minor G and C so you're gonna play the same principle here A minor you're gonna play so that is bass notes the A, A string still and then you answer one time with the D G and B string with the B string is the, the note you want to highlight you want to do that for two times, so. Bass, top, bass, top. Then you go to G. Now the bass note will be on the E string. And the note you want to highlight is on the open B. And you play the D and G string to support that B string as well, so. Just for this one time, one bass and one answering with the higher notes and then you go to the final chord to the C and now you go back to the bass note which is the A string and then you answer on the G, B and E string because the E is now the important note, the open E string. So if you think that E string um, or the G and B is too much, then you focus on perhaps the B and E, but the E string has to be there. So, just for once there, and there you have the, the chord progression you can say. So, to summarize the second part, it was A minor, bass, top, bass, top, G, top, C, top. That's it. So, to um, push everything together now and see how it mixes together. You're gonna play E minor, D and C for three rounds and then A minor, G and C. And then you go back again, E minor, D, C, three rounds, A minor, G and C. Like this, slowly, one round. So there you have the corporation to handle Montelfish, Who Did You Touch? A very cool song to learn and I really liked the rhythm going on here and to pick a little bit, not only do the downstrokes. Uh, so if you think that's too hard to pick, then you can actually do it with downstrokes. It won't sound the same, but if you think that is your way of playing, then go for it. You have the tools to handle it in that way as well. So thank you for watching guys. And if it was helpful, give me some support here. Give me a like on this one and see you next time. Play tuned.